squad. Yeah. Do you know what shade this is? Honestly, I don't really know what it is. I have an idea what it is. Where are you? No. No. Not really. But as far as I can gather, it seems as a historical issue. I'm guessing race. Is it yeah, it's, race? it's like in, it's like intra intra race racism. Oh, like different shades. Stuff. I've never understood the concept of thinking someone's more superior because of the color of their skin. Yeah. Because to me, it's the person's character or the person's intellect, just the person as opposed to their skin. Because I don't feel like I'm my skin color. I had a friend uh, who was from Thailand. She was really really scared of getting tanned because like I know over there, like if you're paler skin, it's more, like seen as more attractive. So so she used to carry a parasol um, in the summer here, but but it's strange because I think almost here it's the opposite. If you are like, a white person, like you want to be a bit tan, yeah. you don't want to be as pale. And more than just skin, like it's also to do with having your hair straightened. Like people relax their hair. They don't. I don't think many people realise it, but it is conforming to that you know Western ideal. You think it's to blame for that? Media, the media, media. videos, Jay Z, Illuminati. <laughs> Rihanna, Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. No, she's team dark skin. I guess it's because of the association with lighter skin people with white people, and in the Western world, white people are like the epitome of beauty. And especially like modelling, mm. by the fashion shows where they walk down the aisle. How many black people do you actually see black girls walking down the aisle? I think in a way we're more to, we're to blame as well because we just judge our own people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for example, when I was in secondary school. If you were really dark, you'd be called Blick. Do you think the issue of shadism is not paid attention to as it should be? I, I don't think it's given as much attention as it's, it should, to be honest, because even in, like, you have tribalism alongside shadism, which I think is ridiculous when you're from the same country. I didn't think it existed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in Indian culture, it mm. does kind of exist, but yeah. it didn't exist, I never knew it existed outside. Why do you think dark people bleach? Because they want to feel accepted, like they want to sort of like, I think, rise up to that standard of beauty that's been set by, you know, people and media and what they think. Do you bleach your skin? Apparently you use these creams and, and they makes, bleach your skin. Yeah, and it, it makes your skin lighter. That's oh my god. It gives you black pores. Well, yeah, no, surely it would like, yeah. like damage your skin. No, yeah. that's, that's oh, ridiculous. Yeah, don't do it, Beyonce. Uh, she's, she's bleaching and... It just kind of sends out the message that you can't be beautiful or you can't be successful if you're dark. Because they want to fit in, they want to be noticed. Do you think it can be cured? Do you think something could happen with... Um, no. I think it can if more positive images of black like models are presented out in the media and stuff. And just to get that message through that black is beautiful. But now it's going to be that way. It might change because it's been changing over time for years. It used to be um, considered to be more attractive if you were pale. Now it's tanned. What could it be next? The dark. We might have our come up. 